Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video today where we are going to be looking at what actually can be done with small habitats. I've done a video quite similar to this before, I will um, pop it on the screen now. So that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, video quite similar to this um, but with a lot more detail this time. So I wanted to show what can be done with a small habitat by just adding tons of details and really concentrating and focusing on the details to make it stand out and to possibly make it the centerpiece for any zoo. Um, this will be on the um, Steam page in my last video, the small habitat I did, it didn't um, go onto my Steam page, I didn't upload it because I wanted people to create their own from my um, ideas slash inspiration I guess but this one it will be on the Steam page because I got a lot of requests from the last one to upload it to Steam for people to have a look and to pull apart and, and to learn that way um, and yeah so let's get straight into it so as you can see here I'm just building the exterior gate slash fence, fencing and I wanted it to be circular again because I think for a really effective small habitat build, building it circular really um, makes it just eye outstanding and eye catching and I think it works really well with the smaller habitats and the smaller animals. We do end up building this habitat for the, um, the giant toy toys um, and I think it really fits the giant toy toys as well. I did think about doing it for the um, white faced capuchin monkey. But I didn't end up going with that. I went and ended up going with the toy toys, and it comes out looking pretty good. And they, and they seem to be quite happy and quite snug in our little habitat as well. So it really turns out nicely. Um, I wanted it to look quite modern, but quite um, what's the word? Quite tropical and overgrown as well. Um, so we do end up adding a bit of rock work, and we actually end up adding a dome and it's the first time I've actually done um, a full glass dome before um, but yeah it comes out looking really well and when you get an hang of the hang of it it's quite easy to do and obviously this is a speed build so you can watch this in, um, in slow motion um, or you can just pause it to see what I've done um, or just comment down below if you want to be able to build something like this or build um, a glass dome comment down below and I'm happy, more than happy, to talk you through it and um, in this video, walk you through it. Um, as you can see, I decided to build another circle and just add it to the top and then delete what was necessary to make it a whole, um, a, like one piece and group it all together. Um, as you can see, I've already started with the high detail. So this is a custom fence. So I've got two different kinds of like wood planks with two different colours in them. And you can see me just building the path around and following it around. Now I've also got some rope in there and um, added the um, the rope, um, the, like the tide rope from the South American pack, um, just so a more realistic kind of vibe to it and again just more detailed as well and it's some glass and some foliage in between some lights and the new world metal piece which i love using it's probably one of my favorite pieces in the game of late um, and it's just filling in the gaps now and getting these wooden um, beams in place really um, i'm not going to talk all the way through this build i do end up adding some uh, water which you will see later on and we do end up adding like kind of like a little tree house i was planning on doing elevated but then i realized that the toy toys actually couldn't climb up to it because they can't climb the toy toys is bless them um so i just ended up pulling it down and add it in as a little like hut on the ground for the toy toys to, to sleep in and then a little like um water feature for them to drink out of and make the habitat a bit more um, eye-catching and stand out a little bit more and a bit more elements to it if you're going to do a really small build like this just add loads of different details and loads of different elements or add a water feature add some shelter like i did with the glass dome as you can see me starting to build here um, add quite a lot of foliage and add some custom fences and next thing you know you've got a really high detailed really good looking small habitat um, and like I said earlier, having that as, as a circular shape really helps instead of a plain old boring square shape. 
Um, I'm going to let you relax now, sit back, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. I'm a coffee man myself, so I'm going to grab one of those. Um, and just watch, and just watch me if I can inspire anyone to uh, build more effectively when building smaller. That would be brilliant to know. So leave that in the comment, se comment section below if I did inspire you, to, inspire you to do anything you see in this video. Um, I'll let you watch the rest of this dome and the rest of this build now. Um, if you do like this kind of videos from me and this kind of content, feel free to drop a like. It helps me grow the channel a lot and I love seeing the different feedback off I get off people. So a comment would be really nice. Also, if you're new here, then feel free to um, click that subscribe button and join our little gang we've got going on here, Planet Zoo Gang. Um, I do play other games, of course what you see on the channel and I have also got a discord now so the discord link will be in the description um, if you click on that it's an invite to our discord it gives you the chance to chat with people who uh, watch similar videos as you and play similar games as you also so yeah so come along and join in on all the fun um, my name's Adam I hope you enjoy the rest of this video I hope you have an amazing day and I will catch you in the next one.